Esplanade MRT Station, from Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia. Esplanade MRT Station is an underground mass rapid transit, MRT, station on the Circle Line, CCL in Singapore. Situated in the downtown core, it is at the junction of Bras Bassa Road, Raffles Boulevard and Nickel Highway. As the name suggests, the station serves the Esplanade Performing Arts Center, alongside various developments such as War Memorial Park, Suntech City Mall, and the Suntech Singapore Convention and Exhibition Center. Esplanade Station is linked to the nearby City Hall Station via CityLink Mall, an underground retail development. First announced in 1999 as Convention Center MRT Station, as part of the Marina MRT Line, it was later incorporated into Stage 1 of the CCL. Several roads were diverted during its construction. The station was renamed Esplanade through a public poll in 2005. Along with the other stations on Stages 1 and 2 of the CCL, the station opened on 17 April 2010. Esplanade Station features an Art in Transit artwork A Piece of Ice Clear Heart, by Lim Yuhu. History. Construction works in March 2006 The station was first announced in November 1999, as Convention Center Station, as part of the Marina MRT Line, MRL. The MRL consisted of six stations from Dobie Got to Stadium Stations. In 2001, the station became part of Circle Line. CCL, Stage 1, when the MRL was incorporated into the CCL. On 7 August 2001, the Land Transport Authority, LTA, awarded Contract 825 for the design and construction of Convention Center Station and Associated Tunnels to a joint venture among Shanghai Tunnel Engineering Company, Singapore PT Limited. Wohup PT Limited and NCC International AB, the Singapore dollar $343.9 million, US $192 million, contract, included the construction of the Dobi Ghat, Bras Bassa and Promenade stations. During the station's construction, the arterial routes of Bras Bassa Road and Nickel Highway, had to be diverted through more than 10 phases. Road diversions began on 4 August 2002, with the realignment of a stretch of Bras Bassa Road and the shifting of Nickel Highway into War Memorial Park. A pedestrian underpass linking one Raffles Link and Suntech City was closed on 20 January 2003. A sheltered linkway at one Raffles Link and a temporary pedestrian bridge were constructed to facilitate movement between City Hall and Suntec City. Through a public poll conducted from 26 March to 9 May 2004, to replace its working name, Convention Center, Esplanade, garnered more votes at 49%, against War Memorial at 41%. This was the first time the LTA consulted the public regarding the station names. The name was finalized on 7 July 2005. To minimize the impact of noise and dust pollution on the surrounding developments, the station was constructed using the top-down method. Diaphragm walls were built to minimize ground movement. With the roof constructed first, construction could proceed under all weather conditions while allowing the early reinstatement of Bras Bassa Road and War Memorial Park. At the end of 2007, the diverted road's original alignments were reinstated. On 30 April 2008, the underpass reopened to the public. The reopening was marked with a celebration as Suntech City Mall offered goodies and organized music and line dancing performances. The station opened on 17 April 2010, along with the stations on CCL Stages 1 and 2. Prior to its opening, passengers were offered a preview of the station during the CCL Discovery Open House on 4 April 2010. Station Details Esplanade Station serves the Circle Line and is between the Bras Bassa and Promenade Stations. The official station code is CC3. Esplanade Station is within walking distance of City Hall MRT Station on the north-south and east-west lines linked to the station via CityLink Mall. The station has provisions to allow it to interchange with a future MRT line. As the name suggests, the station is located near Esplanade Theatres. In addition to the Esplanade, the three-level station is connected to the various developments surrounding the junction of Bras Bassa Road, Raffles Boulevard and Nickel Highway.
Surrounding cultural landmarks include War Memorial Park, Raffles Hotel and the Padang, while the station serves retail and commercial buildings, such as Marina Square, Raffles City Singapore, Suntech Convention Center, Suntech City Mall and South Beach Tower. The station is wheelchair accessible, a tactile system, consisting of tiles with rounded or elongated raised studs, guides visually impaired commuters through the station, with dedicated tactile routes that connect the station entrances to the platforms. Wider fare gates allow easier access for wheelchair users into the station. Public artwork, commissioned as part of the Art in Transit program, a showcase that integrates public artwork in the MRT network, a piece of ice clear heart by Lim Mu Hu is displayed at the station. The 8.6 by 15.1 meter, 28 by 50 feet mural consists of seven pieces of woodblock prints featuring scenes of shadow puppetry and other performances that were popular during the early days of Singapore, depicting the origins of theater. The work is inspired by and pays homage to the nearby Esplanade Theatres. This was Lim's last and largest commission before his death in 2008. The artwork is a collage of Lim's early works, including backstage heroes, puppet masters and Tiachu opera singing. Finding his works on theatre to be relevant for the station, curator Karen Lim and the art review panel commissioned him for this station, unaware that he had been diagnosed with cancer. Karen Lim at the time hoped to bring more awareness to woodblock printing, as it was getting rarer in Singapore, with fewer artists utilizing it. To reflect the multicultural influences on Singapore's performing arts, Lim produced another work, Weighing Cool It, alongside puppet masters at work. The latter work was created to illustrate the link between theater and wood art. Initially, Lim came up with only a few prints and sketches depicting the process of creating a woodblock print. Upon Karen's suggestion to produce more of his actual prints, Lim went on to experiment with fusing his works technologically, revisiting and editing his old works to create a cohesive mural. Due to limited time and his ailing health, his two latest works were digitally edited from the original carvings. Meanwhile, Lim traveled to China, accompanied by his two daughters, to observe puppet masters in action to accurately depict them in his work. Lim went on to finish his work, going through numerous revisions and refining certain details before dying. His children continue to work with the LTA and the production team to put up the work, resizing to a higher resolution from the original smaller prints. The work had to be digitally altered for it to fit on the slanted wall, so that it did not look distorted when viewed from the ground.